Institute Community Parks as a medium for uh, cultural uh, expression. And um, <clears throat> uh, I'm the main author and I have co-author is Barbara and Sharif. Uh, okay, going through the structure of the presentation today, so I will start with the research problem and the aim and then I will show you the, the theoretical framework of, of the study and then the part two is the empirical study and the analysis, then the interviews I did and finally the finding and analysis and conclusions. Starting with the problem of the research is uh, that in Cairo we don't have um, like we have like a short in quantity of urban parks especially the community uh, uh, parks and a poor in distribution of these uh, parks and the quality uh, problems but uh, mainly the, this study is dealing with the quality uh, problems with all of uh, of its uh, problems so the layers of space requirement is a physical and function and meaning and then started to uh, list down the problems related to th these three uh, layers of space requirement the research aim so the assumption of the research is that the uh, parks in Cairo is not responding to the overall needs and with particular reference to the cultural needs of the local community. So the research aim is to conclude like a set of recommendations for urban designers or like a landscape uh, designers to how to develop the vegetation of community parks. But this time in a way that better responds to the genuine cultural needs in Cairo. <coughs> So first, I have I have to study the, the relationship between the man culture and environment to understand the culture of uh, of Cairo. So firstly, we understand the culture, what is the meaning of culture and its elements. Then going to the environment and then uh, how people behave in public spaces and the relationship between the three uh, factors. <coughs> So the methodology of the study is uh, uh, under two pillars. The first is um, we did observation. So the observation was for two things, the physical elements of the space and the behavioral aspects. The observing the physical elements is like to, to see what is going in the, in the place, like the physical surroundings uh, and um, for, for example, the, the seatings, uh, other ways in uh, like unused designed places and seeing all the physical elements in the place uh, and observing it. And the second thing is the behavioral aspect and is to see how people behave in the place and how if people are merely grouping or sitting individually or what type of activities they, they, they do. So this observation happened in Cairo in many urban bars. So I, we took a lot of uh, photos for different activities and for physical uh, elements. And then the second thing is the interview. So we did like an in, we did an interview for 19 participants between experts and lay people. So we approached different residential quarters, homes, parks, and in coffee houses to ask people about uh, three things, about how they, uh, what they prefer in, in the urban parks and what they prefer as an activity to do in urban parks and elements, what are the preferred elements and what are the preferred uh, aspects. <coughs> Then the trans transcription of the uh, interview was, uh, this, this was a sample of the transcription of the, the, the interview. So uh, here you can read the, uh, the questions and uh, the answers. So we started with the, the letter and then I started to highlight uh, some keywords in the interviews. And then we started to group uh, different uh, keywords uh, in a common titles and uh, put notes for this transcription. So 
uh, then we started to make analysis with uh, together with literature and interview and the observation happen in uh, the field so we we, we group the the interviews under three main uh, factors the first was the aspects which are the driving force that shapes the egyptian culture and activities activities in is a representation for these expressions so uh, and uh, finally the elements so, so the physical entities that should enable carrying out just activities um, so here you can see the how we distribute under different topics the the aspects activities uh, and elements which we uh, get out from the uh, interview this paper is dealing with the vegetation issue so now i will show you some uh, uh, and the analysis and the conclusions from the uh, vegetation <clears throat> so some findings in uh, vegetation as i said before we started to categorize the keywords under the three uh, main factors uh, and now I will show you the analysis between different uh, factors. Uh, we see the value of associated with, with fruit trees. So yeah, trees are elements that play a very crucial and important role in people's minds. So it, it is related to, uh, to the culture of Egyptians, like in history or even in a religion. So uh, one of the respondents says like, like one of the ideas to increase the sense of place is to plant the fruit trees it promotes a sense of belonging towards the place so uh, people uh, see that uh, fruit trees is very important in urban parks and it's very culture genuine <clears throat> so to, in order also this assured with champion and the krugers that who said that like a fruit trees also increased resident sense of community ownership and danish who said in order to maximize the sense of identity in places you should focus on reflecting the culture uh, of the visitors <clears throat> and um, also in in religion we can can see that uh, heaven also always refer for a place like it have uh, water features and a lot of trees so people also characterize paradise or heaven for uh, the same um, the same uh, factor of uh, fruit trees and even in the history we can see that the culture is very uh, rich with um, uh, with the ancient egyptian history who are uh, referring always to the um, botanical parks and how the fruits is uh, fruit trees is very very important in the ancient history. The second uh, factor is the shadow and the, the importance of shadow in in, in Egypt is 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 very, it, it is very important because the, the climate is 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 hot climate and people. Tend and to take like a, to sit under the trees for taking the shadow, and uh, and it is uh, it, it looks like it's a semi-private place for uh, for families because it, it changed uh, underneath uh, the trees for a color and texture. So people in this text showed their interest for more trees, and uh, instead of putting like a pergolas or any man-made structures they would like to sit under uh, uh, under trees uh, <clears throat> so uh, one of its respondents say we do like to sit under trees instead of the walls under trees you can find a green patch to sit on this completes and the natural uh, scene um, and and also the nature, the nature inspirations. So in this context, a, lar a large number of respondents prefer to see urban parks on the same feeling of natural look and harmony, instead of seeing like a fabricated or designs that give uh, the wrong impression for urban parks. Uh, one of respondents say, I would like to see uh, parks as natural park, not structured. <clears throat> and people also appreciate the natural environment which provides relaxation and restoration and 
this was assured also uh, with uh, Larsen, who said that the phenomenal trigger physically, psychologically comfort uh, uh, and mental well-being, uh, and also assured with uh, Chapman. Uh, and the aesthetics is, uh, is um, so many many respondents in the in the present study have shown an increased interest in flowers as an important aesthetics element uh, in urban parts. Planting flower adds colors and visual emphasis to any uh, landscapes. So it also we can see that uh, many phrases in the religion also uh, relates to the, the, the beauty of flowers and, uh, and also uh, many researchers found that the green urban uh, spaces that contains uh, uh, like uh, beautiful uh, scenes uh, so it, it can improve the main senses of the children like sight, hearing, touch, taste and smell. And also the local ceremonies in, uh, in Cairo, Egypt was it, it was one of the most interesting activities, the local uh, ceremonies in urban parks, especially on like weddings, to do weddings in, in urban parks, so which is very connected to the Egyptian culture. And uh, also um, uh, another important occasion is uh, like a Shamini scene. It's an Easter day. It's a very Egyptian national holiday, and it refers also to the ancient pharaonic uh, uh, ceremony. So, uh, and uh, uh, the last thing is the health uh, regards and the importance of vegetation for uh, increasing the O2 and decreasing the CO2 in, in, uh, in air and also for uh, uh, urban parks are considered as a place for doing sports and exercises. So it uh, increases uh, uh, overall uh, overall health. Uh, so I will show some recommendations of this uh, study findings is the uh, first thing is the fruit trees are very important for visitors to improve their sense of belonging towards a place. The second thing is a natural element in urban parks can respond to many health records. They cut down pollution levels, set places for physical activities and improve oxygen provision. They are also related to people's association with health, utility, environmental awareness, prosperity, history, and uh, religion. <clears throat> Providing shadow in a, in very important is very important and crucial in urban parks. So using trees instead of man-made elements show to be preferred uh, by uh, respondents. Trees and shadow can improve microclimatic conditions uh, by humidifying air and lowering the ambient uh, temperature. Shadows are strongly connected to Egyptian religions, beliefs, being associated with uh, uh, paradise or heaven, like I said before, they also play a role in space definition. Spreading natural landscape elements can, in, can provide for more aesthetically reasonable urban parks. They, the, the use of colorful flowers, for example, can add positive visual impact. Diversity within unity has evident influences on users' emotional and physical well-being. And uh, the last thing is the extended lawn areas are the most desired in urban parks. Not only they they are important because it's the aesthetic representation of nature, they also provide a flexible place or medium for children to play, for wedding ceremonies and uh, family gatherings and, uh, and events. Thank you for giving me this, um, this time for giving you this presentation and I hope it, uh, you, you like it. Thank you for your presentation, Nimara. Uh, wonderful presentation. Do we have any questions? I hope uh, uh, we'll, we'll take questions offline if that is the case. Uh, uh, anyhow, I've shared the mail ID. Uh, we can take out the questions in later stages. We'll quickly uh, go ahead with the next presentation for the day. Thank you, Amara, for your wonderful presentation. And uh, yeah. yeah, it was very nice uh, to uh, learn about, uh, you know, the culture and uh, cultural expression of, uh, like, uh, and all the PPT was too good, uh, the presentation and all. Thank you.
wonderful presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. So we'll uh, go ahead with the next presentation then for the day. Uh, do we have Wang? Uh, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing wrong. Wang, Wang Ji Liu. Do we have Wang Ji Liu? I just uh, read out the paper, uh, Healthcare Man Management Education Collaborative Learning. Do we have them here? Okay, I call upon the next uh, Pavani Vijaya Ratnam uh, Shine John Shamala Krishnan. An investigation. I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. Okay, I'm from Malaysia. Yes. Okay, let me share my screen.